not only are we showing you maybe one of the world's greatest meatloafs, but we're also showing you a couple extra things to make with it. And we're smoking it. Wait, did I say we're smoking it? I don't think so. We're smoking it. Which, by the way, if, if you don't have a smoker, no problem. I'll tell you what to do in the oven. <laughs> or you could grill it. Look, you've got so many options, but you don't have any options unless you start making it. So, ready? Ready. We start, Max, with a pound of ground pork. Yes, we're using two different meats in this. And the other one, you ready for this? It's not a commercial, so I'll cover it up. It's American style Kobe beef. I've never seen this brand. It, it's a bit weird looking. Why do they do it like that? So. It's like strips of bacon, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I find it a bit odd. But you know what? It was on big sale, so. I thought, you don't know unless you uh, try, right? Testing it out for everybody. Testing it out. Okay. We're gonna use a can of diced green chilies. This is like seven ounces. I don't need all that extra liquid. There's not that much. Oh, what the hell. Stupid. Good. For a little umami kick, little soy sauce. This is a couple tablespoons. And I'm using the thick one. It's a thick one. It's a soy paste, because I don't want it to be too liquidy. But don't worry if you don't have that. I wouldn't expect you to. Three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then a couple eggs. Care to take a guess what we do now, Max? Mix, baby. With? Our hands, they're right there. You got it. I like this, it's fun. I like using my hands. I always say they're right there at the end of your wrist. Oh shit, I forgot something really important. <laughs> Maybe the most important ingredient that I now need to open with yucky hands, and it is a package of fajita seasoning. Look, this is hard to do when your hands are wet. Uh, this is uh, genius because it's a whole bunch of seasonings in one little pack. You don't need to think, you don't have to mix, no measuring, nah, nah, nah. Uh, just that, dump it in. And I don't care whose it is. One pack, they're about an ounce, about an ounce and a half. Dump it in and continue mixing. All right, now we're, we're off to the races. I don't really get that expression. All right, so here's what you have to do. We need to make this into a meatloaf. And look, we all know what a meatloaf looks like. You do not need a mold. And especially doing this in a smoker, you don't want the mold because you want this thing to get the benefit of the smoke all the way around. I'm a little concerned about how I'm getting this thing off. So shape it. How's that look, Max? Does it look even? Great, yeah. Even height? Okay, let me wash my hands and then we'll put it on the smoker. Okay, smoker's around 250, working beautifully, I might add. And I got smart between washing my hands and coming over here. I put it on this uh, pizza peel, and I'll just guide it off right onto the uh, grates. Let's open her up and go. Oh yeah, this is brand new. So in we go, gentle. Ask me if I've ever done this before, Max. Have you ever done this before? No, I have not. <laughs> I've smoked things, but A, it's new, it's a new smoker, and B, I've never done a meatloaf right on the grates. But I really like the idea of the smoke being all the way around it. Yes, I could have put it on a tray. No, I didn't want to put it on a tray. I know people do that. I'm living on the edge, Max. I'm living on the edge. Now we'll make the little sauce that we'll start basting with in about, I don't know, about a half an hour. That's probably gonna take an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We'll let it start to cook, get a little, little bit of color on it first. Then the sauce goes on. And our sauce is really easy and it's so delicious. It's three things. First is ketchup. 
about a cup and a half or so. The second is apricot jam. It will add an amazing sweetness, about a half a cup of this. And the third, diced chipotle peppers. About two, three tablespoons of this is perfect. Nice. And we mix. Just gotta break up that lump of jam. Beautiful. Try it. Yum. Sweet, spicy, savory with the, 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 that's what I'm looking for. The ketchup, the whole thing's good. Ah, oh, it's genius. So, nothing to do for another, say, half hour. We'll come back and we'll start the base and see how the, the girl looks. The girl? Max agrees. Probably a meatloaf is a girl. I don't know why. Shouldn't be. Should probably be a guy. The brisket was a girl. The brisket was a girl. Meatloaf. Well, there's the singer by the same name. Probably should be a guy. It's a stupid conversation. And we're a half hour in, and she's looking very nice. So we're going to do two things. First, I'm going to put in a probe because I want to pull this thing out at 155 degrees and the probe is going to tell us when it gets there. So you take the probe, stick it through. That's what he said. Pull it up. And then set probe alarm, yes. And I want the probe alarm to be 155. Set, perfect. And now in it goes. straight in just like that so it's currently at 105 degrees inside and now I don't have to worry this is gonna worry for me and now I can put on some sauce and look the the taller you make a meatloaf of course the longer it's gonna take to cook so this guy's gonna cook a little faster for us which is just fine Max and I have a charity thing we need to go shoot. Don't we, Max? We do. Even if you don't get it down the sides perfect, you know that the heat's gonna help bring it down by itself. Close the door, let it do its thing. And when it's ready, oh boy, is it ready. Look how beautiful she is. Hello, gorgeous. And just pull out the probe like that. And now, try and loosen my friend here. We don't want any mishaps. No one likes. Oh, piece of sh. Oh, in hell. No one likes a meatloaf mishap. Ah. Fix it, fix it, Sam, fix it. There we go, there we go. Okay, well, I've learned a lesson. Oil the grate before you do this, or use a pan. I suppose if I hadn't have been so bullheaded, I, I could have used a pan, but I didn't want to. But I do want this bite really badly. It's all like sticky, tacky. Okay. I've made this meatloaf maybe 150 times. I've never smoked it. And apart from the fact that a bunch of the shit stuck to the grates, my bad, my bad, um, it's tremendous. Great flavor inside, super tender, nice, and I pulled it off at 155. So you don't, look, you don't, you don't, like 165 is where you end up with stuff like this, but, but you overcook it. It's still coming up in temperature. You can still see steam here. And this corner bite, man. Ow. Mm, those little crunchy. Mm. All right. So, clearly, a slice of this on some mashed potatoes or cauliflower mash or, or uh, with the salad or whatever. Tremendous. But I'd like to say, wait, don't stop there. Let me show you quickly 
two things that you can do with it. And the first one is a sandwich. I'm gonna start by buttering one side of two pieces of bread. And throwing these guys on for a little color and some crisp. Next, we cut two pieces of meatloaf. And carefully, because it's this is much easier when it's cool. But we have no choice. These we want to get some color up here in the middle. So we'll put these, a little oil, avocado of course, and then the slices. Oh, the bread. And down they go. I think I need one more slice in here. Beautiful. While those are getting crispy on the outside, okay, while those are getting crispy, we're gonna take a little peppery arugula. Just give it a couple drops of the avocado oil and a little toss, because we don't want to put it dry onto our sandwich. Okay, that's ready. Let me check my bread. Perfect that side. Great that side. Okay, now we want to flip. That's what you want. That little color, that little crisp. Beautiful. I gotta think about how these are gonna fit in my sandwich. Let me just look. They'll fit like that. We'll leave them exactly like that, but we'll add a couple slices of provolone. Just to start doing its thing over the top. And now we can start to prep our sandwich. Okay, so we go like this. On the bottom, we go Japanese mayo, of course. Perfect. Now, peppery arugula, a beautiful little bed of it. Like that. And now here comes Max, the meatloaf. I gotta do this. Oh boy. Okay, remember our sauce in the beginning, you now it goes here on top. And I like a lot of it. Now this goes like this, and this goes like this. Be silly not to have some, right, Max? Shit. Honestly, can I just tell you how good this is gonna be? Mother effer. Wait, before I do, hold on. We just throw a little oil here and another piece for the taco that's coming up next. Okay, cheesy, melty, sticky, peppery from the arugula. Mm. My overriding thought as soon as I bit, oh my God, it's so tender. It's so not rock hard meatloaf like you get sometimes. Meatloaf is not supposed to be that. Pull it off at about 155, 156, seven. Not 165. If you pull it off at 165, it'll end up over 170 and that's like this. Mm. Every part of this is fantastic. But, taco, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta make a taco, Max, quick. Mm. And while the meatloaf is getting its sizzle on, we put a flour tortilla on the heat to start to warm it up, soften a little bit. So this is a version of the meatloaf taco that we have at Not Not Tacos. Technically off the menu right now because it's still kind of warm outside. Uh, but it will be back as fall progresses. Perfect. All right, let me flip this guy. There you go. Tortilla's ready. Let's dress it up. Tortilla, some cool sour cream. Love it. Some crisp iceberg lettuce. Yum. Now the man of the hour, 
Ow. It's hot. Our meatloaf. Ow. Some sauce, of course. I'm telling you, you're just gonna want this sauce living in your fridge for all kinds of stuff. And finally, because I make such a tender, lovely, moist meatloaf, some crispy onions on top for a little crunch and fun. And a bite. I feel my pants getting tight. Mm. You know, the components are kind of the same as the sandwich, but the lettuce completely changes it. The crispy onions completely changes it. Here's the point. One meatloaf, three ways, a hundred ways. You know what you can do with meatloaf? Besides this, besides the sandwich? You want to make a pasta sauce, meat pasta sauce? Guess what? That's meat that you can just crumble in to some tomato-based nonsense. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here, subscribing, liking, hitting the notification bell, everything that you do that, that makes us smile and feel like we're loved. We're loved, Max. We're loved. And we love you.